Hello everyone, I am Lokesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Saundarya Institute of Management and Science, Siddhartha Bangalore. Dear friends, today I would like to discuss Doors to Succeed 13 Points Plan. I will start with uh, the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist is none other than William Shakespeare. He said that there are three sentences for getting success. The first one is know more than others. Second one work more than others. Third one expect less than others. So if you follow these three definitely you can become a successful, successful person. Let us start with one quote. Work hard in silence and let the success be the noise. With this, we would like to start our concept, our theme today, Doors to Succeed. Dear friends, there is a small differences between success and succeed. These are confusing words and that's why now I am going to discuss about the difference between success and succeed. Let us take success. Success is a noun and it may stay in the beginning or at the end. For an instance or example, success is not easy but everyone wants success. So, success is a noun which means good result of to achieve your goal. Let us go for the succeed. Succeed is a verb. Generally, it may stay in after the subject and as a principal verb. For instance, for example, I succeed in the last competition. This is what? So, succeed means achieve the desired aim or result or achieve something. For example, the COVID-19 awareness campaign has certainly succeeded in raising public awareness of the issue. This is what we are going to discuss, dear friends. So, successful people are not gifted they just work hard then succeed on purpose. Let us go for the 13 points plan to become successful person or doors to succeed. The first point. Don't talk negatively about people behind their backs. If you gossip, people won't confide in you. Mind your own business. Dear friends, uh, really is a very very important if you follow, if you not make gossip or if you not talk negative, definitely you can, you can success, become a successful person. Swami Vivekananda said that our own thoughts are responsible for our rise and fall. I mean, if I think or if we think positive, definitely we can grow. If you think negatively, definitely we can underfall. That's why thoughts are manifestation. That's why don't think negative. Even if it is negative also, think in a positive. For example, let me give one example for negativity. If it is negative also, we can think in a positive. If you were, so some, we are working somewhere. If you were boss or higher authority gives you a lot of feedback, and most of it is most of it is negative. This is actually a good sign. He respects you enough to give you the notes you need to improve and is invested in your improvement. Plus, he thinks you can handle the constructive criticism. So take it on the chin and keep doing better and better. This is what and uh, gossip see if you make the gossip definitely people will not confide on you they don't believe though you are good 
gossip is nothing but the expression of criticism of or pessimism about something that's why we should not make gossip gossip in the sense it is a casual or unconstrained conversation or reports about other people typically involving details which are not confirmed as true so someone who enjoys right someone who enjoys talking about other people and their private lives stop gossiping and do your work this is very very important if you follow this one definitely you will be the successful person let us move to the second one successful bosses have good communication skills they learn from people even including their employees dear friends uh, really you can see the successful person it may be ratan tata who is the founder chairman of tata group even narayana murthy founder of synfosis even founder of apple company the uh, what is the uh, steve jobs they are all the successful bosses they have a very good communication and still they were learning from people and their employees anyway steve jobs is no more but he was always eager to learn from people and including their employees also i would like to tell about uh, ratan tata as he is one of the best man around the globe he is a fountain of inspiration only person who don't like him or those who don't know him he is a great leader and greater human being always he is eager to learn from the people or from the employees and he is always giving the respect and taking the respect from their employees so he is having the very good communication skills that's why dear friends communication if you have the good communication that will help you not only in your personal even professional life also that's why when you are exchanging your thoughts views ideas emotions knowledge feelings from one to another it should be in a proper way this is what uh, communication skills uh, definitely leads to your future betterment let us go for the third point personal integrity is crucial tell nothing but the truth bosses can forgive mistakes but if you lie you are gone i mean okay of course mistakes are key to the knowledge but you should not continue the same mistake regarding the integrity it is perhaps the most important principle of leadership and dependent on integrity because it demands truthfulness and honesty even integrity is telling the truth even if the truth is ugly this is very very important better to be honest than to delude others because then you are probably deluding yourself too so this is very very important that's why whatever you may have done the mistake please accept definitely your your boss will forgive and forget they will bless in you will do in a better way in the next time that's why uh, the your personal integrity is very crucial and uh, the mistakes if whatever you have done the mistake definitely will be uh, forgiven by your bosses this is one of the key point to become success fourth one is very important how to dress for the job you want not the one you have let your dress reflect professionalism succeed see if you is a very very important feeling good about yourself and choosing clothing that reflects your personality you should wear the proper dresses uh, so someone see if you ask me how do you say someone to dress more professionalism i may tell you make it in a two way conversation be compassionate suggests there may be something going on that you don't know about 
unless your company or institution or anything ask people to wear a uniform make it clear that you want people to dress in a way that feels comfortable and authentic to them while staying with within the institution or companies or any organizations norms rules regulations how to dress to success at workplace style plays a vital role if you want to display power and professionalism impression is in the summit and so it helps people comprehend what is the reflection of your inner self never forget to dress as per your age and let your brain and work speak for that's why the dress sense is very very important it reflect your professionalism that is one of the key point to succeed next let us go for the next one work out to get in good physical shape unless exceptionally skilled the unhealthy are at a comparative disadvantages yes of course individually you are very brilliant uh, you are a very skillful person you are a genius your iq eq everything is so strong but your physical health is not so strong definitely that will not help you to overcome all those things that's why dear friends every day we have to go for the exercise jogging or whatever the meditations we will do it for when we are phys- physically and mentally definitely uh, that will uh, really uh, help to our growth and uh, work out to get in a good physical shape if you every day if you go for the jog or walk or any exercise physical exercise or whatever the breathing exercise definitely that will help you to become fit when we are mentally fit when we are mentally i mean physically fit definitely morally also will fit because nowadays what will happen we are now see we are mentally ill physically nil morally not so well so this is the one thing which i would like to tell you better we have to exercise better you have to develop your inner strength through the physical and mental strength now let us move to the next one on downsizing the on down on downsizing the first to go are those with few friends bosses prefer competent people whom they respect see always the bosses will prepare for the competent person right here you can see competent respect what it mean having a solid relationship with your boss is incredibly important it's important to have a good rapport and to earn each other's trust and respect this is very very important bosses prefer always the competent people whom they respect now let us move to the next one be on time time is very very important so if you follow the time definitely it will help us lot so try to arrive few minutes early it saves you from stress you will be much relaxed and work better i mean time is the most valuable coin in your life you you and you alone will determine how that coin will be spent be careful that you do not let other people spend it for you this is what that's why the uh, uh, here, here they are given time is not the main thing it is the only thing which is given by miles davis okay that's why the time management is very very important the ability to use one's time effectively or productively especially at workplace either you are a professor or any company manager or any anywhere wherever you can work wherever you can do so uh, you have to effectively and productively especially at in a work time management is the key to efficient working also that's why if you have them if you manage the time time will manage you right that's why time management is important in your life management also let us move to the next 
try to work for someone who will challenge your powers you will learn more in a year than four years of college i mean regarding the challenge someone will challenge you someone will offer you you have to make use that opportunity to show your talent see when you come to the challenge i am remembering one quote who is jack ma right uh, he said that never give up today is hard tomorrow is worse but the day after tomorrow will be sunshine this is given by jack ma that's why take the challenge do it try it okay if it is tried today it may hard but tomorrow it may worse but the day after tomorrow definitely you will achieve you will be sunshine so this is very very important next strive your best to keep a deadline if you cannot meet it then apologize and ask for an extension nothing wrong dear friends see the deadline regarding that hold it for a day or two day look it over calm then either revise it or throw it away don't strive your best to keep a deadline especially one you have promised this is very important sometimes right we are all the human being we made mistakes i mean sometime we will not reach the target so you can apologize i am sorry i'll repeat i am sorry i can do it in a better way in the next day or the day after tomorrow tomorrow or the day after tomorrow like that if you ask an apologize definitely your bosses or your higher level management definitely they will ask for an extension and you can also happily you can work it this is what uh, what is that regarding the deadline after that don't take things personally see this is very very important here personal life is different professional life is different though you are very good friend you have to maintain the distance and should not take the granted if some people are unhappy with you it's their problem but always strive to give your best in an organization right let us take an example in an organization two people they are pretty friend due to some reasons they were not able to i mean close together so that people they are unhappy with you always if you tell positively also they are not ready to take it in the right way so you should not think much about that let it let it be right let is alone that is not your problem right so one day we realize then he'll come back that's why but always try to give your best right whatever others fellow they'll think you should not bother you will give always good for others always strive to give your level best this is what next one is if you must correct someone don't get personal about it do it never in front of others if you must correct someone see first and foremost we are not a person we are not a person change or correct anyone but if you are a, if you must correct someone if you have a chance so don't get personal about it just what is the matter you can discuss based on that and please don't do it in front of others because we are all the human being sometime knowingly or unknowingly directly or indirectly that will affect on the person see if you want to if you must correct if you must correct someone okay don't get it into the, their personal then we'll discuss the matter solve it and please don't do it in front of others because that will hurt all of the, that will hurt them and the next one is spend some time alone every day what's the mission of if my life what do i want to be and how to go about it see we are all busy people always we are busy in the 24 hours 24 bar 7 so every day minimum 10 to 15 minutes minimum you have to spend okay alone who am i why i came to this world what is my mission what is a short term goal what is my vision what is a long term goal what i want to achieve see you want to think how to accomplish the 
goal so this is the one which we are going to discuss yourself not with others because you are the master for you know about your strength weakness opportunities threats please convert all the weakness into the strength definitely will become a successful person various examples what we have that's why spend some time alone every day ask yourself who am i what is my mission what do i want to be and how to go about it how to accomplish the goal this is what we are going to discuss next one is very very important always remember that the secret of success is 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 passion always think big spread love and joy you will have blissful years i had so passion is an easy answer for success that retains some humility developing a passion to succe- succeed will raise your game change your thinking and share the experiences and know how of some of world's most successful people so allow your passion to become your purpose and it will one day become your profession yeah 100 i'll repeat allow your passion to become your purpose and it will one day become your profession this is my example only right so a uh, great leaders courage to fulfill his vision comes from passion not position see position any time it may deviate right today i am minister day after tomorrow i may not right but the passion is always important that's why a uh, great leaders courage to fulfill his vision comes from passion not position that's why every successful people they put their hard work and they have big dreams abdul kalam always he was telling you have big dream plus work that leads to success that is also very important and striving for success without hard work is like trying to harvest where you haven't planted finally uh, your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life if you look at what you don't have in life you will never ha- have enough the most common way people give up their powers is the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary so i will persist until succeed i will persist until succeed before concluding i would like to remember one quote together we must succeed together we will succeed together we must succeed together we will succeed namaste thank you